So there's been a lot of hatred pointed toward G5, and I get it. It's not exactly what everyone expected, and a lot of brony YouTubers have made videos showing how much they hate it. So guess what? I'm going to do the opposite and talk about the hidden potential of G5. So sit back, relax, because now it's Windstriker versus G5. It all depends on your skill! Let's party! Now there's a lot of bad things about G5, from the poor writing to uh, no! Um, no! Hasbro, no! who designed her? Anyway, G5 isn't the best that My Little Pony has to offer, but it's also just getting started. Also, there's a lot of people that have said that G5 doesn't have a good moral like G4 did, but it does. While G4 focuses on friendship and what friendship really is, G5 focuses on unity and accepting others' differences, which is a good moral to have, even if the execution isn't the best. But hey, who's to say that it won't get better? If you look at the first season of G4 and you compare it to the last season of G4, you can see that the team got a lot better. The same can happen with G5. Plus, with the way that G5 has been set up, they can easily develop the characters in so many different ways. For example, Sunny could learn that not every pony wants to be unified, and that could force her to either choose between accepting that fact and focusing on building a better future for those that do want to be unified, or maybe it pushes Sunny to try to force unity onto others, which leads her down a darker path. While Misty could end up either helping to defeat Opaline and leaving after realizing all of the terrible things she did, or what if Misty instead took over Opaline's spot as the villain. Now, as for Opaline, she could, uh... Okay, let's be honest. Her past is probably the most interesting thing about her. But G5 does have the potential to either go to the stereotypical children's show path, or it could go to a more story-driven path full of twists and turns. It all depends on the next few seasons. Not chapters, but seasons, because... I honestly don't like the idea of chapters, to be honest. Anyway, right now, we don't know what's actually going to happen or which way it's going to go, so we just have to sit back and enjoy the ride and hope for the best. If you liked the video, go ahead and slash that like button. Subscribe today to join the rest of the Strikers, and until next time, everyone, hoof to heart. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. It really means a lot to me. Everyone that has subscribed to me, I am going to start calling Strikers because we are a community of bronies that like to analyze things and theorize about ponies. And that's who we are, okay? So thank you. I also wanna thank my investigator tier patrons and all of my patrons, especially Princess Sam, Scarmex, and Trailblazer. Every one of you have really helped me out a lot and you guys are amazing. Anyway, if you wanna join my Patreon, links in the description. If you wanna join my Discord, and chat with me as well as join my Twitter. Both are in the description as well. Hoof to heart, everyone.